Children from an internally displaced persons camp in Plateau were educated on basic hygiene practices expected to keep them from the spread of the coronavirus. The initiative by a non-governmental organization saw many of the displaced children from the Irigwe ethnic group receive training on basic hand washing techniques, the use of face masks and the use of hand sanitizers. Our correspondent Amadine Uyi now reports. These children have known one violent attacks almost all their lives. Though young, many of them now displaced and orphans have lost parents, siblings, and even close relatives to the unending crisis between farmers and herdsmen on the plateau. They are all from the Irigwe ethnic group. In this hard time of COVID-19 pandemic, children should be informed and educated about the various rights of disabled children must be protected during this period of COVID-19, especially at highest risk areas. Their placards tell their story, like their counterparts from across the country, they are desperately in need of peace and protection from the global coronavirus pandemic. Are we listening? Okay, so you should know that it is now wrong for you to always take your hands to your eyes or to your nose or to your mouth. Do we get it? I learned that we should not gather to ourselves close close. We should give ourselves spaces. Use face masks when going to public places. Use tissue when you cough or sneeze. Do not shake hands with anybody. Always observe social distances. The non-governmental organization which organized the initiative says they were selected because of their peculiar condition. We identify Irugwe Chiefdom in Plateau State as one of the vulnerable um, chiefdoms that face series of atrocity where children have been killed and as a result of this herders farmers clash, the, the killings have become so much that we as a community, as a committee of um, being the correspondent here with ICON, we look it good to identify with these children in rural community and celebrate with the children and give them hope and to call on government attention based on how the children presented their issue. For the children of this Irigwe community, this time is not the usual war and violence. The convener of the initiative hopes government can play its much needed part and restore those who still have families back to their communities. Amadin Uyi, Plus TV Africa.